live. Good evening, I'm Pastor Doug. Rowan is not joining us this evening because he's watching WWE Day 1. Oh, wait, here he is. Never mind. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Fellowship Video Channel and check out our website at fellowshipjoy.ca. Welcome. Are you sticking around or no? All right. Peace out. Yeah, so he's watching the uh, the day one uh, pay-per-view on WWE there, on the network there. So anyways, yes. Tonight we are reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Actually, we're not going to read all of chapter 9. We're only going to read the first 18 verses. Welcome to a moment of joy. So I encourage you to read along. 1 Corinthians is getting uh, quite a ways into the Bible. You're getting pretty deep into it. It comes after Romans and before 2 Corinthians. So, yes. Am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? Are you not the result of my work in the Lord? Even though I may not have been an apostle to others, surely I am to you, for you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. This is my defense to those who sit in judgment of me. Don't we have the right to food and drink? Don't we have the right to take a believing wife along with us? As do the other apostles and the Lord's brothers and Cephas? Or is it only I and Barnabas who lack the right to not work for a living? Who lack the right to not work for a living, yes. Who serves as a soldier at our own expense? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat its grapes? Who tends a flock and does not drink its milk? Do I say this merely on human authority? Doesn't the law say the same? For it's written in the law of Moses, Do not muzzle an ox while it's treading the grain. Is it about oxen that God is concerned? Surely he says this for us, doesn't he? Yes, it was written for us. Because whoever plows and threshes should be able to do so in the hope of sharing in the harvest. If we have sown spiritual seeds among you, is it too much for us that we reap material harvest from you? If others have this right of support from you, shouldn't we have it all the more? But we did not use this right. On the contrary, we put up with anything rather than hinder the gospel of Christ. Don't you know that those who serve in the temple get their food from the temple? And that those who serve at the altar share in what is offered on the altar? In the same way, the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should receive their living from the gospel. But I've not used any of these rights. And I'm not writing this in the hope that you should do such a thing for me. For I would rather die than allow anyone to deprive me of this boast. For when I preach the gospel, I cannot boast, since I am compelled to preach. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. If I preach voluntarily, I have a reward. If not voluntary, I am simply discharging the trust committed to me. What then is my reward? Just this, that in the preaching the gospel, I may offer it free of charge. And so not make full use of my rights as a preacher of the gospel. This is a very special passage to me. I, this is something that I work through regularly. Um, for those of you who don't regularly attend Fellowship of Joy, who aren't on our board. You may not know this, but but you know, I, I don't take a salary. I I but <laughs> But I'm like Paula. I I I, I uh I kinda enjoy that. 
it actually gives me an opportunity to say, well, you know what? When people say, I don't have time to volunteer, well, you know, I work full time too. And I can't help but preach the gospel. And I don't know what God is calling you to do. And this is a new year and a new time and, 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 and time for a new beginning. And, and I don't know what God wants you to do. But I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to spend less time with you. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want you to spend less of your, your resources telling your friends that Jesus loves them. We're all busy. We're all broke. But we're all blessed to have Jesus. And I'm excited to uh, serve Jesus this year. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for Fellowship of Joy. And we'll, and we'll see you tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another moment of joy. All right. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you give us. We thank you that you allow us to serve you. And we, we, we thank you for opportunities to do it voluntarily. And we thank you that you call us. And we praise you, Lord. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, and we look forward to seeing your Spirit move in this year and in this community. And we praise you, Lord. We thank, you for, we thank you for the power of the gospel. We thank you that you died for all people and all people can be saved if they believe in you and are born again. And we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord Jesus, as we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right. Happy New Year. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.